Hello, 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 hello. Welcome, my lovely YouTube people. A um, little bit different today because, I'm, as you can see, I'm feeling very funky. And we're going to go with a pretty, I'd say, advanced flow. But the aim of the game is no hands. <laughs> Look, mom, no hands. Um, yeah, jazz hands. I don't know what's got into me today. So it will be, obviously, very leg-focused. Um, I'll try and hit as many kind of openings that I can. I haven't actually thought about this beforehand, so we're just going to roll with it, right? Um, we will start layering. So it'll be a kind of like a ladder flow. So we just keep layering the movements that we're doing, getting a little bit more tense and a little bit more juicy. So that being said, please come to the top of your mats. So feet hip width distance apart is important because we're going to use them a lot for balance, right? Coming into that Tadasana, that mountain pose, that neutral pose. Palms forward, lift the chin. Align the head, heart and the pelvis. Just soften in and just begin to arrive physically, emotionally and mentally into the body, into the practice, into the breath. So take a big inhale through the nose, long exhale through the mouth. Two more, big breath in, big breath out. Last one, inhaling. And exhale. Good. Slowly bring, blink the eyes open. Take an inhale. Raise the arms up. Exhale. Bend into the knees. Coming in. Ukatasana for the first one. Let's make it a little bit of a movement chair. So just softly sway from side to side. And as you do, just imagine really mapping the four corners of the feet, right? So really getting a sense of, okay, where am I holding weight? If I rock to the left or lock, rock to the right slightly, where can I find more balance? Perfect. And once we've played around with that, the next time you lean into the right leg, ground through the right heel, take an inhale, lift the left leg high. Exhale, left foot comes down. Opposite side, breathe in, right leg high. Breathe out, bring it down. One more each side, inhale, left knee high. Exhale, ground it down. Breathe in, right leg high. Breathe out, bring it down. Adding on, inhale, left knee comes high. Exhale, kick the foot away without leaning back. Breathe in, pull the knee back in towards you. Breathe out, send it back, warrior three. Good. Inhale, left knee comes in. Exhale, left foot comes down. Opposite sides, shift the weight to the left. Inhale, right knee high. Exhale, kicking that foot away. Breathe in to pull it back in. Breathe out, Virabhadrasana three, keeping the hips square. Inhale, bring it through center. We keep in adding on. Exhale, right foot down. Inhale, left leg high. Without leaning back, extend the left foot. Breathe in, pull it towards you. Breathe out, sending it back, coming into your warrior three. Take an inhale there. Exhale, drop the back foot down. Turn the toes in, windmill the arms, coming in, warrior two. <laughs> Bend through that right leg, give me a few pulses here. Good, so we're just grounding through that right foot. Externally rotate and keep the weight to the side. Arms come out towards the side. Take an inhale, drop the left arm, send the right arm high. As you exhale, right forearm comes down, left arm reaches. Two more like that. Moving in between the two, the inhale, finding that reverse space through the right hand side. The exhale to drop in towards that side angle. One more, so big breath in. Find that reverse, straighten the front leg if you need to. As you exhale, look forward, balancing half moon. Plug that right elbow in towards the waist. Float that left leg up high. Keep the hips nice and open. Left arm can go up high too. Breathe in, squeezing the outside of the left glute for two. 
and one left foot comes down, inhale, arms high. I know, right? Exhale, bend the knees, come low, Ukatasana. <sighs> Shift the weight to the left. Inhale, right knee high. Exhale, kick the foot away. Breathe in to pull it in. Breathe out, finding that warrior three, keep the hips flat, square. Good, soften into the left leg, big step back with that right foot. Right heel drops down, windmill the arms, Virabhadrasana two. First time here, so again, Give yourself a little bit of a pulse, a little bit of opening for that left thigh. Once you've found a nice kind of range, it feels a little bit less sticky. Bend into the left leg, weight to the outside of the foot, arms come out wide. Inhale, drop the right palm, send the left arm high, find the reverse. Exhale, left forearm down, one long line of energy from the right fingertips to the right toe. Two more, the breath in to pull it back, to reverse. Stable through that front heel, and the exhale to come forward into that side angle. One more, if that left leg needs a bit of a break, you can straighten it on the last reverse, big breath in. As you breathe out, lean forward, left elbow plugs in towards the waist, ground through the left foot, float that right leg, floating half moon. Breathe in, strong through that right glute for two, and one, both feet together, arms up high. Whoo, we got this. <laughs> I'm actually liking this. Inhale, left foot comes up. Exhale, kick the foot away. Breathe in to pull it through center. Breathe out as slow as you can, coming in, warrior three. It's a posture itself, not just a transition. Fly on my eye, fabulous. <laughs> Drop the left foot back. Left heel comes down, coming in, warrior two. Now take an inhale, find a reverse. The exhale, drop the right forearm down, left arms reaching. We're gonna add on. This time as you inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, skandasana towards the left. Breath in to rise. Breath out, warrior two. Inhale, reverse, finding length through the side. Slowly bring it through center. Straighten the front leg as you bend into the left knee, find that skandasana. Good, one more time, big breath in. Breath out, bring it down. Find that reverse. Keep the tailbone tucked under, space through the left. Bring it back through center. Little baby skandasana, push to the outside of that left foot, hold. Breathe, try not to sink into the hip, keep the tailbone tucked under for two. And one, inhale to push up. As you exhale, bend through that front leg. Coming in, float in half moon. Left leg rises, good, holding for two. And one opposite side, left foot down, right knee high, inhale. Exhale, push the foot away. Now we've started, right? Inhale, bring it through center. Exhale, Virabhadrasana, three. Hit the posture, keep the bend in the left leg. Big step back with that right foot. Right heel comes down, open up, Virabhadrasana two. The inhale is the reverse first, finding length through the left. The exhale, come up through center, bend in towards that back leg, Skandasana. Any var arm variations that feel good, do it. Inhale to come up. Exhale, warrior two. Breathe in, find the reverse. Breathe out, pull it back, Skandasana. Good, one more time, inhale. Come up through center, exhale, warrior two. Breathe in, reverse, length through the left. Breathe out, coming in, baby skandasana on that right foot. Chest is lifted, pushing to the outside, breathe. Little pulses if you want to, for two and one. Inhale to come up, exhale, ground that left foot, really plug the heel into the floor as we float that right leg up high. Ha <laughs> ha, good. One more breath. Exhale, bring it down, Tadasana, mountain. Breathe, let the breath out. Breathe naturally in and out of the mouth to let the breath be a complete response of the body's needs. Now adding on from here. Bend the knees, ground through the feet. Shift the weight towards the right, left leg high. You know where we're going. Kicking the left foot out. Imagine drawing that energy back in towards you. 
the exhale, left foot comes back, warrior three. Left foot steps down, left heel comes in, windmill the arms, warrior two. The inhale to fly in that reverse, just like before. The exhale, maybe sinking it lower into that skandasana. Good, the breath in to rise. Breath out, virabhadrasana. Inhale to the reverse. And then exhale, bring it low, she nearly fell, skandasana. Last one, pulling it up. Finding that warrior two. Find a reverse, and then this time, as you bring it towards your skandasana, slowly bring it all the way down to the floor. Ta-da! I know, right? We're going to drop the left knee in towards the midline, so we're turning towards the right toes. Keep the left arm forward, right arm back. We're going to feel that nice, juicy internal rotation, I know. Inhale to come up through center. Pick up the left knee. Push through the foot, lift the glutes slightly, skandasana. Good, two more times. Dropping it down, opening through that twist, looking back, and then slowly back to that starting, pushing forward, lifting the glutes. Last one, so nice and slow. Drop the left knee, open the twist towards the right. Hands cannot touch the floor, but they can drop if you want to. I take my job very seriously. <laughs> One more breath. And now we're going to come back. Skandasana, warrior two, floating half moon. So bring it back through center. Ground through that left heel. Push the hips up first. And then how slowly can you rise up? Bend into the front knee. Find your warrior two. Oh, that felt awesome. Drop the back arm. Take an inhale. Reverse. You can straighten the legs as well. As you exhale, coming into that half moon. A nice big float on up. Good, left foot comes down straight away, screw it, opposite side, right knee comes in, inhale. Exhale, kick it away. This should feel like clockwork now, you know. Inhale to lift it up. Exhale, take it back, virabhadrasana three. Big bend in that left leg for stability. Right foot comes down, right heel comes in, windmill the arms, warrior two. Inhale into that reverse first. And then your exhale, take it in that low skandasana. Breath in to rise. Breath out, warrior two. Inhale to reverse. Good. One more full round. So take it in super low. Push to the outside of the foot. Inhale, using that strength of the leg to find that warrior two. To find that reverse length through the left hand side. And then this time, as you come down into that last skandasana, completely sitting down. Good. Keep the chest lifted. Bring the glutes down towards the floor. Your right knee drops in. You turn towards the front. Keep the right hand facing forward. Think about making a big circle back with that left arm. As the left arm returns to center, pick up the right knee, push the arms forward, lift the glutes, skandasana. Two more. Drop it down. Knee comes in. Left arm, big circle. Opening that twist all the way back. Left arm comes forward. Push to the outside of the right foot. Lift the hips. Good. One more time, holding the twist. So right knee comes down. Right hand stays where it is. Left arm reaches back. Try not to lean forwards or back, but try and keep pretty neutral with the spinal column. Hands can drop down wherever feels good, but not the floor. <laughs> and then breathe. Oh, I definitely had my Weetabix this morning. Good. Take one more breath. And then slowly bring it back through center. We ground in through the heel. We lift up Skandasana. We look forward. So we keep pushing to the outside of this foot. We load into the left leg. Find the warrior two. Find a bit of a reverse. And then as you come forward, ground through that front foot and then slowly float that right leg. Good. Bring it back through center. Find your Tadasana, your mountain. Shake it out. Whew. We're going to go one more round, which will involve us going to the back of the mat now as well, with a little bit more deeper flexibility as well. Ready for this. Let's go. I enjoy these ones. <laughs> Bend the knees, send the arms up high. Ukatasana, chair pose. Ground through the right heel. Left knee comes in on the inhale. The exhale, left foot comes back. Warrior three. Whoops, she nearly fell. Good. 
Left foot comes back, left heel drops in, finding that warrior two. Good, the inhale to the reverse. We've been here before, we can drop right arm behind the head if you want to. The exhale, drop it in towards that skandasana. The inhale to rise, exhale, warrior two. Breathe in to reverse, breathe out, bring it back, skandasana. Only one more time, inhale. Exhale, Vera. Breathe in to reverse. Breathe out, coming in towards that skandasana. Just one round, drop the glutes towards the floor. Left knee comes in, turning towards the right, open the twist. Now from here, we're gonna go low lunge towards the back. If you're thinking, Sarah, you're mental. It doesn't hurt to use your hands if, it's a, if you need to, it's fine, right? <laughs> no judgment, I swear. Um, <laughs> so pull the left knee up to center, push in towards the left foot, and now from here, turn towards the back. So we're lifting the hips, and we're coming on towards the back toes. Ta-da! Square the hips off, drop the back knee down, send the arms up high into your low lunge. Big inhale, exhale, arms come back, straighten the front foot just as much as you can. Toes can be down or flex, it doesn't actually affect the hamstring length, so inhale to rise, lifting up and out of the rib cage. Exhale, pulling it back, finding that glorious stretch. One more, big breath in, we rise up. The exhale, we pull it back. And now as we breathe in, coming into that low lunge, any variation that you wish. For me, I feel like I just wanna interlace the fingers, roll the shoulder blades back, lift the heart up. But again, still keeping a nice active leg, so pull in left hip back, right hip forward, or left heel in towards the right knee. Breathe in, holding for two, and one, slowly come forward. We can place the hands on the left knee for stability. Now push out of the flexible lunge, tuck the back toes, maybe shuffle the left foot in, reach forward, balance in, there we're addressing a three. Nice, inhale to come up for a center. Exhale, foot comes down. Ooh, good, one more side and then we'll shavasana it out. So bend through the knees. Remember, keep the breath. I'm not gonna be able to demo that much because I'm gonna kick a wall, but inhale, arms high. Exhale, bend the knees. Push the weight onto the left, inhale, right knee high. Exhale, kick the foot away. Breathe in to pull it in. Breathe out, warrior three, hit the pose. Good, right foot steps back, right heel comes in, windmill the arms. Warrior two, inhale, reverse. Exhale to bring it down, skandhasana low. Breathe in to rise, breathe out, warrior two. Inhale, reverse, any variations of the arms. And then exhale, bring it low in towards that right foot. One more, inhale, exhale, the sinking in, the breath in, finding length through the left hand side, the breath out, dropping it down into that skandhasana all the way to the floor. Drop the right knee in, right arm forward, left arm back, find that twist. Now low lunge to what's the front of the mat. So inhale to center, Pick up the right knee, push through the right foot. As you lift the glutes, think of squaring the hips, pivoting on the back toes. Once the hips are square, left knee comes down. Arms go high on the inhale. Oh, that was juicy. Exhale, straighten the leg and come back. Good, two more times, moving with the breath. Try and keep the belly and the thigh connected to the very best moment as you open up. And then the exhale, slowly bringing it back. One more time, big breath in. We rise, we lift, exhale, finding length through that right leg. And then this time, as you come into that low lunge, picking that variation that suits you, maybe pull in right heel back, left knee forward, breathing deeply, taking a moment, tension check the body. And then slowly, this time, as you release, come forward, Tuck the back toes, bring the left foot next to the right, sink the glutes all the way down, and however controlled or not controlled, come to lay on your back. Ah, congratulations. You can stay here, take Shavasana, 
do another video. But let me know how you found it in the comments below. All the love.